so you probably think it's strange that we're back together again, but because I just got back from San Francisco visiting her, but she's actually here in Tennessee visiting me this week. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and kind of address a couple of things. A few people asked me uh, to show the stuff that I got at the vintage shops in San Francisco. So I'm going to start by showing off that stuff because Lou helped me pick it out. And then we're going to do something kind of like funny that I've never seen done before. And then she's going to talk about some stuff that she really likes. And this will be my first unedited raw footage video. So you're going to hear a lot of Ruby in the background. And you're gonna <laughs> and there's going to be a lot of stuff that needs to be edited out. But we're going to try to talk as quickly as possible. A lot of weird faces. Yes, and we're probably going to... And you're probably going to see me get out of <laughs> This is a flip, and as anybody who has a flip knows, it's really narrow, so you're kind of like, Hi! <laughs> Hi! Hi! How are you doing? <laughs> okay, so I wanted to show you, first of all, this skirt that I got at Aubergine in... Um, Sebastopol. Sebastopol, yes. And it is awesome. It had been taken in in the waist. It was just tacked together, and y'all saw that in my video that I did for my um, trip. But Lou untacked it for me because I don't know how to use a needle or thread. Or scissors, apparently. Or scissors. <laughs> <laughs> or scissors. I wouldn't have been able to do it. No. Okay, but anyway, it's awesome. And it's got this gold metallic thread. It's beautiful. And I really, really love it. Um, what is this? It's like linen. I think it's linen. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, of course, Black wonderful. Linen. Probably 1950s. Maybe in early 1960s, mm -hmm. do you think? Okay. So this is my skirt, which I love, and I wear it with a crinoline, of course, because I don't and know how to wear a circle skirt. It does now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because she uses scissors. Okay, and my second thing that I got, I only got three things. Uh, my second thing I got, this was at La Rosa Vintage on Haight Street. And this is a Mexican circle skirt. I have never owned one before, and it's something I've always wanted. So I splurged and got myself one. This is the most amazing, thick, heavy cotton. And... It just goes for yards and yards. It's amazing. It's and you circle. can see the, it is definitely a true circle, not a three-quarter circle. And you can see this tapestry type fabric that's that's mixed in there with it. It's got this trim in between. So it's the heaviest cotton and most wonderful cotton I've ever felt. With a crinoline, you would have to wear a big stiff crinoline with this because otherwise it's just not going to uh, stick out. And the tag's still on it. I haven't worn it yet. Um, but it's my... Probably my second favorite thing that I got. We're going to change that this weekend, right? You're going to wear it? Yes, I'm going to wear it to the Rumble, I think. Good. Okay, so I'm very excited about that. And I have these corselet tops from Whirling Turban, plug, that um, <laughs> that I wear with Shameless. circle skirts. Anyway, and the, the most awesome thing I found, um, any of you know that really good quality vintage can be pretty pricey, and this is probably the most pricey vintage item that I've bought. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for it. However, it was, less, no, it was less than a stop staring dress. I'll just say that. <gasps> oh! Okay, so this is my amazing 1950s cocktail dress that I got at La Rosa. Can't see it very well, probably. It is like a boat neck in the front, scoop neck in the back. It has amazing little, these are called bugle beads, right? Mm -hmm. Little bugle beads all over it. It is like new condition. The seams are completely, completely intact. It's beautiful and it's extremely great workmanship. It's a beautiful coral in case you weren't aware. Yeah, it's like a exactly what the color is from the back here. But you can see it's like this extremely gorgeous coral color, which is pretty rare to find yeah. a color like this. Um, I have no idea what I'm going to wear it to, but I'm going to find lots of places to wear it. This. It fits perfectly. It's pretty amazing that it fits as well as it does. And it is also, is this linen also? I think it's cotton. But it's beautiful and it's kind of got a texture to it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. This one doesn't zoom. I think it's cotton. But it's pretty clear. Okay, so that's all the stuff yeah. I got. Not a whole lot of stuff. I spent a little bit of money, but it was worthwhile because really good quality vintage like that you have to kind of scour for. Um, here and at La Rosa, it's like everything's like that. So um, yeah, they really, really awesome. know how to pick it. Pick it. <laughs> okay, so the next thing I thought I would do, Lou is has a problem. She's a makeup hoarder, <laughs> <laughs> and I reap the benefits of this sickness. So I'm trying to not to not to cure her because she um, gives me like bags full of stuff that she doesn't use or that she has extras of or whatever. She had given me so much makeup in this big plastic bag that I couldn't even like find a place for it in my luggage. It was really hard to find a place for it in my luggage. I had to take oh, you poor thing. individual things out and like spread them around. 
but a lot of it's drugstore, and I thought it would be really funny um, to see how much she remembers about the stuff mm. she gave me. It's weird, huh? Okay, so we're going to start these little mini review, mini, mini reviews, which, you know, this was supposed to be completely unedited, but it's going to have to be patched together a little bit. Okay. Baby issues. So first thing, yeah, baby issues. First thing, MAC Fluid Line in Black Track. I never used it before. My free words are um, smooth, opaque, creamy. What are yours? Um, dry. <laughs> um, the opposite of creamy. Opaque. Opaque. And um, a little flaky. Ooh. Just a little flaky. But that lens because of the dry, I think. If it was brand new, it would be better. That's more than three words. So we, you have, what is your skin type, first of all? We need to okay. people know this. So I have combination skin. Uh, I don't get too oily other than just right in here. Um, and that's easy to take care of, you know. And I have extremely dry skin, as y'all know. So I don't know for sure if, um, you know, things aren't going to work the same on me as they are on her. So mm -hmm. remember that. Okay. And we have different tastes in things, too, you know. I like liquid eyeliner. Absolutely, no, yeah. So. Okay, so this is, um, I prefer liquid too, actually. Yeah. Okay, so this is the next thing. This is the Revlon Color Stay. And what is it called? Is it a gel um, liner? Yeah. It just says Revlon Color Stay on it's the just bottle. A, yeah, it's just it's a the gel Revlon liner. Color Stay gel liner. It comes in this kind of container. And there's a brush that comes out of the top. Okay, and uh, it's called, this is the color Black Noir. So my, my words are complicated, <laughs> pointless, and sheer. Mm -hmm. This brush is ridiculous, by the way. This, whatever. Okay. I'd have to, st I'd have to go with sheer as well. Um, more than three words, but not long lasting. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's just kind of a waste of packaging. Yeah. Waste. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, next one. The Instant Age Rewind Eraser, Dark Circle Eraser. Um, From L'Oreal, right? Or no, Maybelline. Maybelline, yes. Innovative, effective, and smooth mm -hmm. is the way I would say. What do you think? Um, yes. It was just the wrong color for me, but mm -hmm. I did like the, the formula of it. And it, it brightened quite a bit under my eyes. So even, I don't really need a lot, but um, it was too light and too pink for me. So Yeah, but well, Makeup but smooth, by Tiffany D we yeah. uses these. And if, you, if it's too light for you, you can always put like a foundation over it mm -hmm. if you want to do that. But I really, really am impressed by this. That was way more than three hearts. Sorry. It's not going to be three hearts. I told you. It's not going to be three hearts. We're not going to be able to keep it. Okay. We'll, we'll be brief, though. Okay, we'll just, we'll just be that. very brief. Okay. So if I had to use three words to describe this, this is MAC eyeshadow in soft brown. Perfect eyebrow color. Perfect. Perfect. Mama. Filming. <laughs> Children. <laughs> okay. And what do you so think about this? Shut the door on them. <laughs> That's my no. eyebrow color of choice because it, and I'm going to go on in this just a minute, it's a great, if you have any red in your hair, it's a great base for your eyebrow um, to put down first, and then if you want to add a little darker or whatever, but it's just a great start to an eyebrow, in my opinion. I like to layer, so that's great. So yeah. Love it. And anyway, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> okay. Um... Maybelline Mega Plush Volume Express Waterproof Mascara. Oh, I forgot that was waterproof. Mm -hmm. I only buy waterproof, so. Okay. Flexible brush. Awesome. Really like it. Pretty good formula, but awesome flexible brush. That's my three words. Love this brush. For me, um, too watery. Um, made my lashes too heavy. And it flaked a little bit on me. So I don't know if you're going to have that problem. Okay. I don't haven't noticed any flaking yet, but I, I definitely really like this. And I like the wet formula, mm -hmm. but okay. Yeah. Um, I like things to be a little more like a moussey kind of gel, like really coat them yeah. and stuff. And I guess it depends on your needs. Yeah. Uh, this is the Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup by Benefit. That is a mouthful. Oil-free SPF. Um, brightening. Dewy. 
finish. Mm -hmm. Um, it's, it's very effective for dry skin, which is why I gave it to you <laughs> because it didn't work on me. I put it on and half an hour later, it was gone through the middle of my face. Just gone. Let's forget the three word thing. We're not yeah. doing that anymore. <laughs> this is day we can never stick to a plan. <laughs> perfect day foundation. How long have we been talking? We're going to end up not being able to put this all in one video. Okay. Perfect day foundation. Okay. Uh, magic skin beautifier BB light by L'Oreal. Weird, <laughs> grainy consistency. Mm -hmm. um, it evens out complexion. It's pretty good, but it's very grainy and mm -hmm. strange. It's almost like putting a scrub on your face and leaving it. Yeah. Again, I got too shiny with that. It didn't... It just Very dewy. Yeah, very dewy. And I don't mind a nice dewy finish, but, you know, it just wasn't what I expected. And yes, it's grainy, and I didn't care for that. Strange. Um, the Smashbox, we have two more. Smashbox Photo Up Under Eye Brightener. Illuminator. Um, not good for under eye. Better for mm -hmm. cheek highlight. Mm -hmm. It's it's too brightening. Or for just under eye. in the little tear duct ba area. Barely mm -hmm. here, but not no. Yeah. I don't. I think it's really pretty too. Maybe if you wanted some kind of a glowy like shimmer and mix it with um like your moisturizer or something. I don't know. That might be good. That might work. That's yeah. a good idea because it's not super glossy. Yeah. And last, she gave me this lip gloss called um, the Revlon. What is it? Revlon. Lip gloss. Just lip gloss. And it's in the color Sizzle. Color Burst lip gloss. Mm. <laughs> There's so many. Smells like crayons. I can't get past the smell. Oh, let me smell. Don't get it. Really? It smells fruity. What? <laughs> It does. It smells kind of fruity to me. What kind of fruit you got in California? Oh, the best. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't smell fruity to me at all. It smells like, like crayons. Okay, so that's all our little mini reviews. Hope y'all enjoyed that. It was funny. Um, it didn't didn't work the way I thought <laughs> no. it might because we can't stop talking. But that's okay. Whatever. And she wants to tell you about some stuff she's really loving right now. So um, hopefully we can get all this. Yeah, we'll go stuff. really fast. Particularly a brand that I'm really liking. Um, I kind of like all their stuff, but I only brought a few things with me. So first thing, the brand is Hourglass, and the first thing I picked up was the uh, primer. It's the number twenty eight primer serum hydrating and anti aging. And like I said, I have a little bit of an oily T-zone, so this is not too greasy for me. Some primers get to be too greasy, but this actually is really good. And I've noticed um, kind of a nice evening out of my skin tone after using it for a few weeks. Um, and then the other thing I got from Hourglass, things I got, were these. Um, I can't remember what they're called. They are, they're like the liquid um, long-lasting lipsticks. And I splurged and got a few colors because I couldn't resist. Like they are the amazing. They're like little, yeah, they're just like little lip glosses, but they're long-lasting lip, liquid lipsticks. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a good color too. It's it, That's orange. It's mm -hmm. orange, but I like to layer them. Yeah, they're great. They're awesome. They last a long time, but they don't dry your lips out. They're not like, um... They're not like some of the uh, long-lasting ones that actually dry, like, dried paint on your lips. Like, oh, you're yeah. putting nail polish on your lips. I hate that. Very so nice. these are nice. And you can layer them and put other things on top of them. And the other thing I really like are these lipsticks. These Tarte Glamaz... Yeah, Glamazon. Love yeah. Tarte lip products. Mm -hmm. They are Pure so Pure Performance awesome. Lipstick. This one's in Fierce. Look at the packaging. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so pretty. And they're really, like, they're hardy. They're sturdy. And there's a lot of product Prettiest in them. Prettiest color. Can I swatch? Yeah, that, that's a reddish, like an orangey red, and then there's like a, a bluish, really creamy. Yeah, yeah, a bluish red, and then there's a really gorgeous coral which you put on, but now you can't see it because you put the other thing on. Sorry, <laughs> I couldn't resist. But anyways, so those are like some of my favorite things right now. That's it. This was fun. Yeah, <laughs> I am so so really gonna laugh at how this turned out. But um, okay, well. Bye! We're going to go to Memphis today and do some sightseeing. She's Shopping. never been to this part of the world before, so I thought it would be kind of cool to take her to my hometown, to Memphis. It's hot here! Yeah. And humid. <laughs> I told her, I said, humid. you don't wear your hair down and all loose and wavy, especially if you use a heated set here. All right, so hopefully we'll see you all this weekend at the Redneck Rumble. We'll talk to you later. More videos! More videos!